hi guys what's up so now today we will see the addressing modes which is related to microprocessor and computer organization in both the uh, book you will see that such type of topic addressing modes in processor design okay guys so before uh, starting the addressing mode we'll just uh, we we'll just now to say that if you find any useful this video so please go and hit the subscribe button okay guys so that you don't miss any update from my side okay guys okay let's uh, start so what is addressing mode so in microprocessor you have come across such topics and also in the computer science computer organization and architecture this topic is covered okay addressing mode different types of addressing modes so first of all guys this addressing mode is divided into two parts one is the sequential control flow addressing modes and transfer of control flow addressing modes okay guys so in microprocessor you just uh, uh, you just go through the you just read only sequential control flow addressing modes and uh, uh, but in computer organization you see transfer of control flow addressing modes in a very wide okay it's a very um, wide topic so you see also this relative and based register addressing mode okay guys so now the sequential control flow addressing mode is further divided into two parts one is the register based addressing mode and second is the memory based addressing mode and guys one thing i just wanted to mention this sequential control flow addressing mode this focused on data okay focused on data but this one focused on instruction focused on instruction okay guys so in register based addressing mode we have register addressing mode implied immediate direct indirect indexed auto index so total nine addressing mode we will discuss so in two parts in the first part we will discuss up to indirect addressing mode and next part we will discuss six seven eight nine okay in second part so guys these are the topic we are going to discuss today okay guys <coughs> so please be with us it will be very useful to you now the second is the register addressing mode register addressing mode so what is register addressing mode in this mode data is in the register the corresponding register address is maintained in the address field of the instruction so guys you have seen the data is in the address field in this guys so suppose this is the instruction design opcode and address so what this address will give this address will give nothing but the register name r0 or r1 and according to that data will be present in that register so in address field the what will be the effective address effective address is nothing but the address field value whatever the address field value r0 r1 and if you go at particular place r0 r1 your data will be present so that is the register addressing modes before that i just wanted to mention what is the effective address effective address is the address where your data is present effective address is the address where your data is present so suppose your data is present here so effective address is corresponding address so r1 at the place of r1 your data is present so what will be the effective address effective address will be r1 okay guys so in the register addressing mode instruction design opcode address so this is our effective address because this is the address of the register whether r0 r1 r2 r3 so this is the effective address address field value that is the effective address so where <coughs> register addressing where it is used it is used for accessing local variables okay guys so you might have seen somewhere that also in a c program like uh, uh, c program that integer a b c so in such type or you you might know so this is actually a static variable but you might have also sometime that register you initialize the register and you store such value there so there this register addressing mode is used okay guys so this is our our first register addressing mode opcode address this is the effective address r0 r1 where our data is present now second one is the implied addressing implied or implicit addressing mode there you guys ye kya hai implied or implicit in this mode data information is present in the opcode itself so data know where it is present it is present in the opcode itself what is opcode opcode is nothing but any instruction which says uh, which, uh, which says some operation to do like the add subtract push pop is all are the what these all are the opcode but what is what happens in implied the uh, the data is present the in the opcode itself suppose if you do stc if you if you have done the microprocessor lab, lab so you might have done some clear memory clc stc so set carry if you do set carry so it automatically the microprocessor understands okay though it doesn't require any further data when it uh, when it recognize the stc carry is there so automatically it says the cy is equals to 1 so the data is present in stc itself okay guys so opcode is divided type of instruction on data information so in implied addressing mode both are present in the opcode itself okay guys such type of uh, 
uh, if if you give the example of implied or implicit decimals so that is the stc clc add all are the what implied or implicit addressing mode and here i have given the add actually what happens guys if you see add r0 r1 you might have seen also come across in the microprocessor lab but here i have written add stack cpu stack cpu is what there is a stack r0 r1 data is present in the stack r0 r1 and when we give add so automatically two two top data will be deleted and that will be automatically added r0 r1 automatically added and the result will be pushed back so these are the stack cpu i have given the example add okay guys and now one note is there so you just all the zero address instruction are designed with an implied addressing mode what is zero address instruction zero address instruction means there is only the opcode no data so you see here only the opcode is there there is a no address field only opcode is there no address field but in a previous example we have seen that there is a opcode but also there are address field so this is not uh, uh, this is so this is one address instruction and this is this is zero address instruction because there is no address field okay guys so this was our implied or implicit addressing mode because the data is present in the stc clc stc means set carry clc means clear carry add stack cpu so all the zero address instruction are designed with a implicit addressing mode okay guys now the third one is the immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode this addressing uh, this mode is used to access the constant okay guys so this mode is used to access the constant in this mode data is present is in the address field of a uh, instruction okay guys so kabhi kabhi kya hota hai guys ki hum automatic plus 1 plus 2 23 jaise maine yahan pe example diya add r0 23 means i am saying that to add 23 in the register r0 means i am directly giving some constant to add to the r0 so such type of instruction use the immediate addressing mode okay guys so what is the instruction design opcode and address and this address stores nothing but your constant data okay guys so suppose add r0 uh, a constant value 23 this is our source 2 this is our source 1 as well as our destination this is plus okay so this is registered addressing mode i have already uh, uh, this we have already discussed in the registered addressing mode and this is our s2 this is nothing but immediate addressing mode okay guys so at this when address 23 will be present automatically that 23 will be added okay so this is the direct immediate the data is um, present immediate to the address field okay directly to the address field so that is the immediate addressing mode not immediate addressing mode is always used as only source address one thing to remember suppose hash 23 this only can be used as a source uh, source address we, we cannot use this 23 as a destination if you you, you use uh, 23 at this place so suppose after addition where that uh, information will be stored 23 is only the data it's not the address of the memory okay guys so 23 can only be used this immediate addressing mode can only be used as a source address not as a destination address this is also good question okay guys uh, mcq it could be now the fourth one is a direct or absolute addressing mode okay guys now what is the direct or absolute addressing mode this mode is used to access the static variable guys suppose sometimes you initialize integer a b c so these are statics okay so such type of uh, variable uh, such type of uh, such type of variable access used using direct addressing mode okay the corresponding memory address will be maintained in the address field of a instruction so this is the instruction design that is the opcode and address and at the place of address field particular address there the data is present so what will be the effective address the effective address is nothing but the address field value that is the your memory address and if you go at the particular memory location you will get the data okay so what will the effective address effective address is nothing but the address field value and at particular location at our data is present example add 2000 r0 this is our source 2 this is our source 1 as well as destination this is plus so what it will do it will go at 2000 at 2000 our data will be present assume 15 will be present so it will take 15 and add with the data present in the r0 and again the uh, result will be stored at the same place okay after 15 assume the result will be 30 so it will be right 30 so this is our direct address mode or absolute address mode also okay now the fifth one fifth one is the indirect address mode 
what is indirect addressing mode da if you have understand the direct addressing mode so just you need to uh, step one more that is the indirect addressing mode so guys you need to know where this indirect addressing mode is used this mode is used to implement the pointers so guys you must have known about the good concept in a c called the pointers which is used to pointing the uh, address of the memory okay guys in this mode address field of the instruction contain address of effective address okay guys so here uh, two steps is there to reach to the data first of all in this address field you will you will get another address and if you go to that address then you will get the data okay guys so two steps is there so in a first address field if you go there inside there will be another address of the another address where our data will be present and if you go that address then you will get the particular data so what will be the effective address effective address is nothing but the address of the address address of the address okay so suppose you go at this particular address then you will get this and if you go this particular this is also the address and if you go to this particular address then you will get the data means two steps with the same concept as the direct addressing mode so example like move at the rate 2000 so this is the sign of indirect addressing mode at the rate r1 so at the place of 2000 so i, I, I will explain this suppose 2000 is our address okay so if you go 2000 another one memory address suppose 3000 is there and again if you go at the place of 3000 then you will go you will get data assume 15 is your data so two steps one step first step you get the effective address after get uh, when once you get effective address then you will get the actual data that is the indirect addressing mode guys okay guys so this is the just the concept uh, of indirect addressing mode that is used in the pointers and such type first you will get the effective address and at the place of effective address how your data will be present okay guys so up to the indirect addressing mode we have covered now the next we will see the remaining uh, addressing mode okay guys if you found useful this video and you want to add any suggestion please comment in the comment box okay guys thank you for watching